Normally, in this game, you absolutely need to be successful in managing your water, heat, food, and most importantly, as the name might imply, your oxygen. But what if oxygen was truly not included? Welcome back, my fellow Divaglins, to what I can only assume is going to be the patch notes before they're written. We're going to start up a brand new game just to show you how possibly broken this strategy is. When you go to start up a brand new game, usually one trait you try to avoid is the mouth breathers. Ugh. Why? Because their air consumption rate is plus 100 grams per second. Whipping out the calculator. 100 grams per second times 600 seconds in each cycle means that they're going to consume 60 kilograms more than your average dupe. Which, in case you don't know, is double the amount of oxygen your duplicates normally consume. You realize you put yourself into a bad situation. So I've picked up three of them, and I'm going to name this colony Truly Oxygen Not Included. Welcome to a brand new base. Mmm, look at these dupes. Sucking down all their oxygen. If we take a look at our colony report, we can see that, yes, indeed, we are consuming the oxygen at a fairly frightening rate. So we need to get to work quickly. So these dupes are going to dig out very, very quickly over here. And I'll try to build up a little bit of floor tile just so we don't drop a bunch of stuff where it doesn't need to go. I'm just going to do the yield usual stuff. Emily, that was very close to death. <laughs> I saw that. You almost got away with something. Oh, Emily is already showing signs of running out of oxygen here. You see here, we're not actually going to see the results that we want to see just yet. We need to do a little bit of research first. So, to do that, we're going to slap down this research station. We're going to do it right next to the printing pod so we get a nice little boost of speed. Whenever a piece of equipment is illuminated, they'll go a little bit faster. Obviously, that's going to need some power, so you do that. And because I'm not a horrible person, I will at least give them a couple of cots here. and This will help them morale. After all, this strategy of potentially not having oxygen... Might be a bit stressful. Isn't that right, derpy doop? Ooh, you know what? I think we can track... Can we track oxygen here? Breathability. There we go. Let's track breathability. That'll be nice. Hmm. It's already telling us we're a bit low. All right. So, we've got the research station. And we can now... This will give us access to the thing that we need that is going to allow us to have unlimited free oxygen. And what we're looking for here is portable gases. Some simple basic research. All right, so the next thing we're going to need here is access to a little bit of water. Of course, you always need water. We can't quite get away from that. Granted, there's plenty of ways to create extra water. <laughs> but that's not what today is about, is it? No, no. We just need a pitcher pump. That's all. All right, so we're coming up on the end of the very first cycle. And our extremely deep breathing duplicates have sucked down a fair amount of oxygen. Look at this. We have generated zero kilograms of oxygen, but consumed... 243 kilograms <laughs> but you see what's happening here we did the math we know how much they actually consume but those numbers are a bit low what's going on here well for those of you that have been following this game for a good long while you might have heard about how duplicates don't consume oxygen while holding their breath and thus keeping your duplicates from breathing oxygen for a little while has been a common practice <laughs> for those of us in desperate situations. But surely something like that could not be exploitable, could it? Well, as it turns out, when they go to catch their breath, they don't actually consume any oxygen at all. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the end of cycle two. Our desperation is starting to get more desperate. We have yet to produce any oxygen at all. And we consumed over 300 kilograms. So thus far, our few spots of oxalite have been consumed, and we're just about completely out of oxygen. Except for we do have a few chunks of oxalite down here. If we hurry, we can get to them. But by the looks of it, that will only be enough oxygen for one cycle. If we don't get some oxygen this cycle, our dupes are absolutely doomed. Ah, a little bit of oxygen. I'm not giving up hope just yet. These dupes are digging off to the right. There's yet another chunk of oxalite right up there. Though I will say, the situation is getting slightly more desperate. My current choice to go with mouth breathers uh, seems like it might have been a little bit too aggressive. I'm not sure they're going to make it. Quick. Quick dupes. 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 You're not even breathing. How much oxygen did we consume in the previous cycle? Uh, 150 kilograms. How much do we have? <laughs> not much. Not much at all. 
<laughs> ah, some research has been complete. We can now build the all-important crafting table. Yes, here we go. And there we have it, the key to our success. A mask. So, what I'm going to do is just take one of those and put them right down here in the act in the oxygen mask dock, which we've already filled with a little bit of oxygen. Except for all my dupes are falling asleep on me. Hey, 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 hey. Oh no, they're all, all sleeping. <clears throat> Wake up. Ah, there we go. One oxygen mask full of oxygen. So if I drop that oxygen mask on the ground and uh, move this dupe because he's just gonna sit there forever, thank you. <clears throat> Slap that oxygen mask on, moldy hacker. And now breathe easy, bud, even though you're surrounded by your own carbon dioxide. Now the thing about that oxygen mask is that it doesn't contain an infinite supply of oxygen. Once it reaches zero, the duplicant is now holding their breath. Hmm. And because they're holding their breath, they're not consuming oxygen. So as it turns out, you don't even need to have oxygen inside of your mask in order to reduce the amount of oxygen you're consuming. So we're not even gonna fill the other two oxygen masks. No, we're just gonna stick them on their dupe, on my dupe's faces. There you go, derpy dupe. And there you go, Emily. We're down to a cool breathability of 3%. <laughs> but now that all of our dupes have masks, hmm, what's happening to all of this oxygen? Well, if we take a look at our oxygen removed, we can see that that number is no longer moving. So despite quite literally just about having zero oxygen in my base, we now have an unlimited free supply of oxygen. Mmm, maximum cheese, baby. So now the question is how far can I take this? Because if I don't need oxygen, I suppose I just only need food. Now this does come with a bit of a cost in that your dupes don't really ever get a good night's rest. You know, because they're suffocating 24-7. And they're not particularly efficient or happy. So for so for what we lose in needing to produce oxygen, we're going to have to make up with in living conditions. These dupes are so incredibly inefficient, but they're just consuming absolutely no oxygen. Matter of fact, let's bring in another dupe. Zo, welcome to the base. However, Zo, before you can set foot inside of this base, I must insist you put on a mask. Nobody needs you breathing inside of here. There you go, Zo. Way to go. Okay, get this. <laughs> we consumed 200 grams of oxygen. That's because I accidentally clicked on Moldy Hacker and he had to run from here to there. But Zo, Zo did the right thing, man. You put your mask on before you came in the door. Thanks for being a team player, Zo. You might have just saved the world. Possibly. Maybe. We've yet to see it really pan out. Now, as with all good exploits, we must continue to push this beyond its humane limits. So keep on digging, dupes. We got some more work to do. All right, so the next thing we need to do here is make a little bit of food. Now, food is something that I haven't figured out how to get rid of yet. So we're just gonna go with mush bars, made with maximum suffering. They seem awfully excited about that. All right, so while the micro musher makes sense up here because it's surrounded by oxygen, Technically, we don't need oxygen. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this micro musher right down here. You know, where it's surrounded by carbon dioxide. Now, the advantage to putting our micro musher all the way down here in the area where the carbon dioxide will naturally pool has to do with our mush bars. This one happens to be slightly chewed on already. You see here, it says unrefrigerated and the food will spoil, but it's surrounded by a sterile atmosphere. It's considering we don't have to breathe, we can just go ahead and make our kitchen in the sterile environment, and we don't even need a refrigerator. Ha! Let's bring in another dupe. Ooh, now I've got a smart dupe. Welcome to the base. Before you do anything, put on the mask. Ah! He did consume some oxygen before he put it on. Darn it. What will we ever do? Let's just take a look at how much oxygen we actually have. Mmm, yes. 370 grams per tile. That's barely just enough for plants to grow. They require a minimum pressure of 150 grams. Well, now that I have a researcher, that is going to be your job. Oh yeah, he's pretty quick. Aha, more research complete, beautiful. Hmm, we now have mess tables. What else do we need? Advanced research, probably. I'd like to make my cooking efficient, so I'm gonna fill this storage bin with the key ingredient we need. Dirt, 
Now here's one of the challenge points that we currently have in our base. I would assume our morale is currently not doing so well. Matter of fact, we're averaging anywhere from one to three. So it's better than zero, which is what everybody currently requires. <laughs> Come to think of it, I could probably add some skills on top of this, believe it or not. Well, to make these dupes even more happy, here's what we're gonna do. Let's slap down some mess tables. Do, do, do. All right, so it's time for my dupes to start to specialize just a little bit. Moldy Hacker here likes to operate, therefore that's going to be your job, despite already having super hard digging. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. Damn, GG. Derp, what are you gonna be doing? Hmm, farming? Maybe. We're not there yet. Emily, you might know how many who. We're gonna leave the other dupes just flexible for the moment. I'm building up the critical infrastructure at the moment, doing the important things. You know, like cleaning outhouses and stuff. You know what, Derpy? Your job's to cook. You better get to grilling. Okay, slight issue with my micro musher being all the way down here is that my dupes have to run a pretty decent distance in order to catch their breath. One of the details that I'm glossing over here is the fact that they do need to at least be in a tile that has access to oxygen. So not having oxygen nearby is causing some <laughs> efficiency so inefficient that starvation might be the ultimate result. But maybe I can fix that with this tiny little ladder right here because then you can get to that tile which has 120 <gasps> grams. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, and just like that, our food production went way up. You know what that means? It's time for another duplicate. Please don your required mask. Thank you. Yucky lungs already? What? Normally that would cause increased air consumption. Hmm, don't think I have to worry about that. Look at our last few cycles. So when Pancake came in, we had a little bit of air consumption. Before that, zero, zero, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I need you to be running on that wheel, man. Uh, hey, we got some more research. Now we've got a jumbo battery. This will hopefully make Moldy Hacker a little bit more efficient. Plug that sucker in. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> These dupes are so incredibly inefficient. <laughs> they, they, all I need them to do is make a jumbo battery and it's like the hardest thing ever. That and produce enough food to survive another cycle. You know, some things are challenging. Come on, dupes. Come on, just make the battery. There we go. Now fill it up. And get rid of this little one. We don't need that little one anymore. <laughs> no, just finish the work, dupes. Ah, oh, there you go, Zo. Yeah, that's right. Catch your breath in that polluted oxygen. You know, as it turns out, they don't even get stinky lungs for sucking in bad oxygen because they got the mask on. It's filtering it for them. Ha, all right. I'm going to need another chef. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of chefs. <laughs> we have a very complex recipe and it's... We're barely surviving. Pancake, please cook. Mush bar. Oh yeah, look at us go now. Making all sorts of food. Watch out. We might even have enough for another dupe. Or bristle berries. Man, I would like some bristle berries right about now. Well, let's bring in another dupe, shall we? We know the drill now. Put that mask on. <laughs> the cost of bringing in a dupe is 1,130 grams. All right, I'm gonna make some modifications down here. We're doing okay on the food, but that's because we're running three micro mushers. <laughs> it, it takes the whole colony to do it. They get a little extra done besides food. <laughs> but I'm gonna cram them all in down here, right next to the spot where hopefully they will then start to eat. Hey, look, they're starting to make a little bit more progress. Congratulations, dupes. You're not completely useless. And slowly but surely, we're building up a little bit more polluted oxygen. Look at this, it's almost breathable. No oxygen generator built. Who needs that? Come on now. There we go. Quickly, before you have to breathe again. All right, time to speed things up a little bit here. Come on, dupes, you got this. You know what? I think we need two manual generators. That way, one can be breathing while the other is running. Oh, yes. Such efficiency. What's up with you, moldy hacker? Why is your oxygen bar... You have two bars. Let's take a look at the skills here. Dutch. You two are going to be doing some cooking. That way I have at least three dupes doing cooking. So I've got a researcher, three cooks, one operator. Somebody needs to supply. So that is your job. And somebody needs to manage the toilets. Emily, <laughs> sorry, that's your job. Hey, it looks like you like it anyhow. In that case, have fun. It's time for another duplicate. Hmm, meep. 
Welcome to the base! I'm not sure you're gonna like this one. Oh, who am I kidding? You love the cheese. Quickly, before you breathe anything, slap on one of these oxygen masks, please. Meep! No! You fell asleep before you got there, bud! Oh, no. The oxygen. No! Meep! No! Wake up, Meep! Kilograms are going by! 8.2 kilograms, Meep. How does that make you feel? What am I ever gonna do with this game? Yeah, I must say, this is a highly efficient pace. <laughs> At least they're charging the battery now. Good job, dupes. Way to whip them into shape, Meep. All right, it's time to take a gamble here. I'm gonna dig down here and release just a little bit of oxygen. As it turns out, having small pockets of oxygen around that's near where you're doing some work does actually help with the efficiency of your suffocating duplicates. Who knew, right? So we're gonna do this number right here and release just a little bit of oxygen. There we go. Oh yeah, breathe. You know, I think we're in a good place right now. Let's go ahead and slap down some more research. Cover some important stuff. Emily, you just bottled water and then dropped it in the water. What? What? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> well, I've got some good news for you. We've unlocked a brand new room down here. The mess hall, plus three to morale. Man, if we take a look at our morale, look at this. We're all the way up to five, even six on some of these dupes. <laughs> I mean, Pancake King here has so much morale. I, 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 dude can go all the way up in farming. Watch out, our success is blowing up. Let's bring in another duplicate, hmm? Don't fall asleep on me. <gasps> no, 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 no! Dudu, I didn't look at what your interest was in, but... All right, all right, switch it up. Dudu, you sound like you would make a great chef. <laughs> Forget it. Everybody's gonna be having little cooking hats, okay? Clearly, this is a very serious playthrough. So the only resource I'm concerned about right now is dirt and the amount of tonnage I have, because it's the only thing I'm consuming. And the more my dupes can poop out, pollute a dirt, and then refine it into dirt, all of that is going to add up to more and more food for me. And, as it turned out, it's a key ingredient for research. So, there's a whole circle of life going on there. Somebody might actually want to sleep in a bed, I don't know, one of these cycles, maybe? Maybe we can just build that? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make this a priority level five. We seem to have enough food. We've got 25,000 calories thus far. Maybe not a lot, considering I have nine dupes, but it's definitely going in the right direction. All right, just working on upgrading my facilities over here. We just need to dig this stuff up. Look at that. Hey, now we have a latrine. Even more morale from my suffocating dupes. How about another one? Hold up. I know better than to bring you in in the middle of the night. Moreau. Welcome to the base. Oh, yes. Now we've got something going. Do we not have a dupe with super hard digging? Please don't mind the sound of perpetual suffering. It's... It won't last forever. Let's bring in another duplicate. <laughs> Cedric, welcome to the base. I might want to up the priority on my cooking just a little bit. We might need another chef. We're also in the need for some more dirt tonnage. So we're just digging that up over here. <laughs> We got down to eight, now we're up to 22. No problem. Oh no, rotten mush bars, crap. I need to build that somewhere safe. That seems like a pretty safe spot right there. I guess enough oxygen has found its way in here. Uh, the thing is I'm not producing carbon dioxide, so all of the poop we keep giving off is now turning into oxygen and it's just filling, the, <laughs> filling up the base. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. I actually can't get carbon dioxide in here. Oh wait, can I? There we go, hopefully. Hopefully unrefrigerated food goes away. In a base with no carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide has now become the most valuable resource. Please. I need some more. <laughs> I might just have to build it down here. High priority dupes. High priority. Make food! This crap. <laughs> One might assume now would be the right time to not bring in another duplicate. <sighs> but at this point I'm committed. Panda! Welcome. And Panda! Please make a run on this wheel, as if you're trying to track down the last roll of toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know if I'm winning or losing, but it's hilarious. <laughs> oh no, who's making a mess now? Oh no, dupes! Dupes! All you had to do was clean the bat- There's two of them that are available! What are you- Oh my gosh. 
all over the food. What am I gonna do with you, dupes? Emily, you had one job. Well, better mop it up, dupes. I think it's... <laughs> Why not? One more dupe for the chaos. <laughs> 13 dupes. Still not breathing oxygen. Though I can't really say everything else is going well. <laughs> oh, please just mop it up. <clears throat> Even though it was completely overshadowed by everything else that's been going on here, but we now have a nature reserve over here. Mm, walk through here, plus six morale. Very nice. So even though it seems like this would be the most stressful base ever, I suspect the morale's pretty good. Look at that. Derpy Dupe down there has a morale of 11. Everybody else is slightly less, but still not bad. It'll be a whole lot better once they actually put a ration box in here. <clears throat> and remember to clean out the toilets. We now have a morb. <laughs> we have two morbs. Oh no. <laughs> please. Please. Come on, dupes. I know you got this. Oh jeez, all of these outhouses are about full. The pain and suffering that's about to happen. You know what? We might actually be okay. Let's bring in another dupe. How on earth have they not complete- This is priority level nine, dupes. It's now priority level, please. There we go, mush bar. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. We're now officially down to zero calories. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe not. What? 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 No. Bringing in another one. All right. At this point, I have so many dupes. It's time for a different schedule. <laughs> <Did she s> <laughs> no. No. Nobody's starving yet. I've got as many dupes as I can get on these little manual hamster wheel things. And then everybody else is just making the micro mushers down here. Yes, I could use better technology, but at this point, I'm just wondering how far I can push this ridiculousness. Uh-oh, we might be at the limit. There's five duplicates starving. That usually means somebody is about to expire. Who's it gonna be? <gasps> oh no, Cedric. 75. Oh, 50. Made it just in time. <laughs> Oh, that was a good meal. All 200 calories of it. It's like you had a Pop-Tart or something. All right, I'm curious. At this point, what will they die of first if I take all of the oxygen masks off? Starvation or running out of oxygen? Let's find out. Now watch this cycle. Look at all of this oxygen. Holy moly. <laughs> so what's happening here is a multitude of things. One, I have a couple of mouth breathers that are consuming twice as much oxygen. But on top of that, since they are exposed to polluted oxygen, they have the debuff of yucky lungs, which is an extra 30 grams per second. Now, I'm a little curious <laughs> but what's going to happen first. My dupes should be more efficient at making food so long as there's oxygen around, right? And they're not holding their breath. That said, five of them are still starving. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nobody's starving anymore. Hmm. It only cost us 500 kilograms of oxygen. <laughs> oh, my efficiency has gone through the roof all of a sudden. Well, my dupes are back to holding their breath. <laughs> but it wasn't before they sucked down 600 kilograms last cycle and the cycle before that. But look at how much more effective they are. Now we just got to put the masks back on them and get them back to work as you would expect. So yes, there you have it. Oxygen does not necessarily need to be included. But at any rate, my fellow dupes, that's all I got time for today. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out.